one of the saddest calls I get at least once a year is when a client or a friend calls me up and says, hey Asul, confidentially, how much does it cost to get divorced? None of us like to see our friends or our colleagues or a client go through a divorce, but the reality is about half of marriages do end in divorce. So what does it cost? And in today's video, I'm gonna go through that. And because it's such a heavy subject, I chose to do this video with this beautiful setting behind me here. This might be the only video on YouTube that talks about how much it costs to get divorced on a beautiful ferry crossing the Puget Sound in the gorgeous Northwest of the United States, here with the sunset behind me on a beautiful November evening. Okay, people are often surprised when I answer the question, how much does it cost? Because it can cost a lot less than what people think, but more often than not, it costs a heck of a lot more than anyone would think or hope that it would cost. And why is that? So let's talk about the expense of divorces because unfortunately, most divorces end up being a little more expensive. And the reason for that is several fold. We're gonna go through it. But you know, the older you are and the more assets that you have, the more complicated the divorce is, the more expensive it's gonna be. Now, the range on the expensive side, on average in the United States, is 50 to $150,000. Now that's a big range and people will say, Asul, how can the average be a range and how can that range be so high? Well, the reality is it varies by state. And it varies by state by for a couple reasons. One is, you know, just what the laws are, how divorces happen in your state. But also, because legal fees vary quite a bit by state. You know, in a, a state like New York, where New York City has a lot of attorneys, a divorce can be really, really expensive. Conversely, if you're in a place where legal costs are not that expensive, it can be on the lower end of that range. Um, attorneys tend to cost, divorce attorneys tend to cost 250 to $1,000 an hour. And I do wanna share this is not legal advice. I am not an attorney, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but I do recommend that you deal with a specialist if you're going through a divorce. I, I do know people that have used a generalist to handle their divorce thinking it was gonna be less expensive and it actually ends up being more expensive. So in an ideal setting, if it's a contested divorce, and contested just means the two soon-to-be ex-spouses don't agree on what the divorce should look like, what the terms of the divorce should be, what the financial aspect of it should be, and, and most commonly the custody of the kids and how the, the kids are gonna spend their time. So if it's a contested divorce, I highly recommend that you work with a divorce attorney that has worked with your soon-to-be ex-spouse's divorce attorney in the past. And the two of those attorneys work well together. And, and, and one way you can get a list of that is just, you know, when you're talking to potential attorneys to represent you and your spouse is talking to attorneys to represent them, ask them, you know, give me three or four names of people that you've, uh, um, divorce attorneys that you've worked with in the past that have that you've worked well together and that you respect. Now obviously there's a conflict there, but really try to get a situation where the two divorce attorneys work well together because you know those conversations are costing you at least $250 per side, right? It's the two attorneys talking together. So so that's that's one suggestion that I've seen work well. The other one is try to keep the lines of communications open with your spouse so you and your soon-to-be ex-spouse can talk about some of these issues together. Now sometimes communications break down probably more often than not uh, but if you can keep those lines of communications open it can save you a lot of legal fees because otherwise it's $250 talking to 
The other thing I would say is I'm a huge fan of working with professionals. I'm a huge fan of working with advisors, but advisors are just that. Attorneys are just that. They're attorneys, they're advisors. We can be very expensive best friends. Uh, and in my situation, my model uh, is, is where clients pay a percentage of assets under management so they don't have to pay when they, they call. So I'm not an expensive best friend uh, for my clients, but attorneys that are charging by the hour, they can be very expensive best friends. And so I do suggest, no matter how good your attorney is, that you have a family member, you have a best friend, or a therapist that you can vent and you can talk about the frustrations and the difficulties of going through the divorce because you know a best friend is is uh, much less than 250 dollars an hour uh, and most therapists are much less than 250 to a thousand dollars an hour so that's another way to keep things on the low end uh, oftentimes it's the situation as i said earlier talking about you know how the custody of the kids are going to uh, work out um, again you know and, and you hear this but really focus on on what's best for the kids uh, and and that's something that usually both soon-to-be ex-spouses can get on the same side of the, the page and and can can find some common ground you're likely not going to have complete agreement but some common ground the other thing that i think is really important is give understand that this is probably the most stressful thing or certainly one of the most stressful things you're ever going to go through in your life you are not going to be at your best through this situation your spouse is not going to be at their best your soon-to-be ex-spouse is not going to be at their best through this situation so give yourself permission to forgive yourself if you get short if you lose your temper um, if, if you know you look back and say at the end of a meeting gee I could have handled that better you know what that's probably 90% of people uh, feel that way so give yourself permission to quickly forgive yourself and also to the extent you can give yourself permission to quickly forgive your soon-to-be ex-spouse because again you're not dealing uh, with yourself at your best you're dealing with yourself under the most stress that you'll probably go through uh, in your lifetime. Okay, um, so I think that that's really key, the forgiving yourself. I talked about um, people are surprised at how expensive divorces can be. They're also surprised at how inexpensive divorces can be. If you have an uncontested divorce, both spouses are basically on the same page and there's not a lot of disagreement you know in the United States that can be a five thousand to ten thousand dollar divorce depending on where you're at what the state's rules are what the filing fees are things like that um, and I've even seen it less than that so so that's the good news let's leave this video on on a good note I also want to encourage you to watch a different video on a happier note, which is five reasons to think about retiring as soon as you can. I'll see you in there. Bye-bye.